Hello and welcome. I am Zombie Kitty and welcome to, I guess, my Comic Con vlog. I have no idea what I'm doing. Uh, I apologise if the sound's not going to be very good. I forgot my microphone and everything. <laughs> so, this is Portsmouth Comic Con. There you go. Um, there's a big like fence around here at the moment. So, I'm about to join the very big queue to get inside. I've got here quite late, so whoopsie. <laughs> so, yeah, I thought I'd do a vlog take a couple of clips and videos and pictures and stuff so you guys can see what it's like don't know what the sound's gonna be like but yeah let's go Got my wristband. That's day one of Portsmouth Comic Con done. Uh, I am really, really warm. <laughs> I'm surprised most of my makeup has actually stayed on, to be honest. It's been quite warm today, especially inside. Um, I think the crowds of people is the thing I've had to get used to the most, but I don't know why my camera's to the side. Why am I off to the side? <laughs> but yeah, I am gonna go get food. Then I'm gonna go back home and take all this off because there's quite a lot <laughs> and I will give you my thoughts once I'm back home so I guess see you for you guys in a second for me it'll be probably around an hour <laughs> so I am back home I've had some food I haven't taken my makeup off yet but I'm probably going to in a mo and getting a bit warm uh, but that was day one of Portsmouth Comic Con done yeah it was fun um, I didn't really get nervous actually once I was inside because Portsmouth Comic Con uses the whole building it's in 
um while there were a lot of people there weren't really any like crowd problems or you know cl crowd like clusters or anything uh pardon me the spacing and everything was actually all right um it wasn't too bad so in terms of that i wasn't really too worried just because again they used the whole building so they can space people out a bit more and also space the stalls out a lot more um I didn't film everything. I'm probably not going to film everything that's there just because there's quite a lot. Um, but also it just give you a little glimpse of what Portsmouth Comic Con is like. It was really funny coming back actually because I, I actually got recognised quite a lot during the convention. I mean, <laughs> the badges is the wrong way around, but you know, if you're co cosplaying as a Five Nights at Freddy's character, you're going to get recognised. Um, but even coming back, like, on the bus and stuff, yes, I went back on the bus like this. But I even had, like, some people recognise me even then and were like, I could hear them talking about Five Nights at Freddy's even as I was getting on the bus, which is quite funny. The TikTok that I put up uh, at the beginning of the day, I've had a few people comment as well and say that they walked past me and saw me and really liked my costume then. So, yay! I'm really happy. I really like this one. But I am very sweaty and very warm now. It was quite warm today. Um, and I'm actually wearing a t-shirt underneath this as well. So, oof. <laughs> so I'm a, bit, I'm a bit warm, let's say. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to take this makeup off. I'm probably going to have a shower as well. And I need to have a sleep. Um, but this was day one. I am going to day two tomorrow. And then that is the last day. Tomorrow's cosplay is going to be Dork Trap, who's a Dorko character. So that'll be fun. It'll be interesting to see if anyone recognises that. <laughs> I, I doubt it, but still. Um, and it's not as many layers, which will be fine. Still wearing trousers. That's not going to be fun, but oh well. Also, I apologise if the camera is wobbling. I'm trying to hold my phone as steady as I can, but I don't really have a steady hand. Um, I am using my phone to record this just because it's easier for me to carry things around, uh, carry my phone around instead. So yeah, I apologise if some of the shots are a bit wobbly. Whoopsie, I can try. But yeah, that, I guess day one is done. Bring on day two. Okay, so welcome to day two. Uh, I've overslept a bit. I'm really, really tired. <laughs> but, we're gonna do this today. So, yeah, welcome to day two. I'll be more awake in a minute. Yeah. Ready to go. Little late, but ready to go. Hello. Okay, so... Eventually, I got to Guildhall um, in Portsmouth. It took a while because it's Sunday, so all the buses are going to be a bit more um, going to be a bit more delayed because it's Sunday. Um, but yeah, so we're here. So today's cosplay is Dork Trap. So he's one of Dorko's characters. Dorko being the British YouTuber. Um, I don't know if you can hear that, but they're playing Jurassic Park. Please don't copyright strike me, YouTube, please. Uh, yeah. So I don't need to get a wristband or anything for today because I've already got my wristband. So yeah, it's just straight in. Um, again, I'll film as much as I can for today, but it won't be everything. So yeah, see you later, I guess.
And on that noisy note, bye bye Portsmouth Comic Con! <laughs> so that's Portsmouth Comic Con done, the day two and the last day. Um, yeah, I don't really know what else to say. Um, weather wasn't as warm as yesterday, it was actually alright. Uh, yeah, I really don't know what to say. It went by very, very quickly. Um, the cosplays that I did see, I didn't recognise as many for this day. So you probably won't get as many photos um, from today as you did for yesterday. But to be honest, I might just end up doing a big photo dump at the end of the, the vlog, to be honest. Um, didn't realise he was in the background, whoopsie. But yeah, I might just do a big photo dump at the end of the vlog, to be honest instead of in between or i don't know I'll, I'll sort that out once i've edited and obviously and obviously you're gonna see by the time the the final video comes out but yeah i a kid's still screaming <laughs> i haven't figured out yet what i'm gonna do but yeah i didn't take as many photos today as i did yesterday just because while there were cosplayers there weren't that many that i recognized there was someone dressed as elizabeth afton purple guy and um the scrap baby that i saw yesterday um and i forgot to take a picture with them <laughs> whoopsie but i did see them which is pretty cool but yeah there wasn't really that many cosplays that i recognized thank you so yeah there wasn't really that many costumes that i recognized today even though they were all really good like people have really put a lot of effort into their costumes for this and like I know that's a weird thing to say but usually because Portsmouth is smaller than say like London or Birmingham there the last couple of years there hasn't really been or the last two years that Portsmouth has been around there hasn't really been that many uh, cosplayers but I think because obviously we've had the two year gap everyone kind of went a bit mad so we, I ended up seeing some really cool costumes but yeah I'm gonna go get some food, same as yesterday, go get some food, take all this off and I will see you guys when I'm back home. And welcome back. So yeah, while it's only been a second for you guys, it's been an hour and a half for me <laughs> since the last uh, clip. But yeah, so I've taken my makeup off, I've had a shower, I'm now in my pyjamas, I've actually tidied my room up a bit uh, because I ended up leaving it in a mess this morning because I ended up running a bit late. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that was the last day at Portsmouth Comic Con. I can't help but feel like Portsmouth should be three days. It always feels weird having a two day convention because it feels like after the first day, you've just started getting into it. You're like, yeah, I'm ready to go. And then it's like, oh, tomorrow's the last day. Oh, OK. <laughs> But I had a lot of fun. The weather, in terms of the weather, it was a lot cooler today. And I think the fact that my face wasn't covered in face paint and plasters actually helped. It wasn't as bad today. It was still a bit sweaty, but not anything too bad. Um, I had a lot of people uh, misrecognise me. I, I wasn't expecting anyone... Oops, sorry. I wasn't expecting anyone to recognise me just because... While I'm a FNAF related, I was a FNAF related character, I was quite an obscure sort of YouTube character. So most people thought I was William Afton, <laughs> which technically, technically they're correct, but technically they're also wrong. <laughs> but I also got called Bonnie, what was it, Bonnie, Glitchtrap, and even Vanny at one point. <laughs> it's like, no, that's a completely different rabbit. Um... One of the stall holders, so you'll probably see in a photo or video that I've already done, I had my glitch trap figure uh, in my pocket. <coughs> Sorry, pardon me. Uh, in my pocket, and one of the stall holders was like, oh, your bunny figure's so cute. <laughs> I was like, oh, if only knew you knew. <laughs> but yeah, it was fun. Um, I didn't take as many videos today, um, and in terms of cosplay... Like, the ones that I did recognise, I really liked. But either I just ended up talking to them, um, 
or I didn't know who they were, but it looked really cool. <laughs> there was a few more Demon Slayers. Actually, there was a lot of Demon Slayer cosplayers as well. I saw a lot of FNAF cosplayers yesterday. Um, today, I've already, I think I already mentioned this, actually. I'm trying to remember what I said an hour and a half ago. <laughs> but I saw the Scrap Baby cosplayer from Saturday. Uh, she was also with... Pardon me. She was also with an Elizabeth Afton and Purple Guy cosplayer. So we ended up taking a selfie and then I forgot to ask them for one. But to the to the person cosplaying Scrap Baby and the Elizabeth Afton and the purple guy, your cosplay was awesome. <laughs> your cosplays were really cool. Oh, there was a, a broken glam rock chica, which was really cool. But again, it was when I was passing them um, from across the room. So I didn't catch up to them in time. Which is a shame, but they looked really cool. You're, you're probably seeing a picture or something, but I saw a Stolas cosplayer from Hell of a Boss, which was awesome. They looked so cool. And the Angel Dust cosplayer from Saturday was awesome as well. I really like that I saw some cosplayers from Husband Hotel and Hell of a Boss too. Because if you see them on my channel, I love them. <laughs> I love those animations. They're so cool. There probably won't be as many videos or photos from today and I think in terms of cosplays I'm probably like I've already said I'm probably just going to do a big photo dump from the Saturday and Sunday and just mix them up so yeah just because today I didn't take that many photos um I took a little bit of video but not too much I I really like the I have a local convention not just because i'm like 15 minutes away from it <laughs> and i don't have to wake up super early for it but also i don't know i kind of just like the fact that a lot of people also traveled or seem to have traveled far away to get to here like a lot of the stall holders i was talking to from like weren't from here they weren't local at all they were from like a few hours away either in london or there was one who was i think they were in devon <laughs> but I like the, even though our convention, it is smaller compared to like London or Birmingham or Manchester, like people still want to go to it and they're still interested. And it was really, I mean, as popular as it can be in the current scenario and current climate that we're still in. But I do really like that it was, was still popular. I think the weekend tickets sold out really quickly. Um, mine was from 2019 that carried over so I didn't end up I didn't really pay attention too much to the ticket sales but I did see the message saying that the weekend tickets were sold out and I think that happened quite quickly so I think that's really good actually the the you know I have a, a local convention and while it's smaller and it's not London it does really well which also means it's going to be back next year <laughs> hopefully <laughs> unless something else happens but it'll be back next year uh one last thing i wanted to do actually before i finish the video is um comic con isn't really without it shopping <laughs> now i will say most of the stuff i bought was not for me it was for friends and um yeah i don't know where i was going with that one <laughs> I, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm I'm very tired. Conventions are tiring and I forgot about that. <laughs> um but yeah, most of the stuff I bought was for friends. But I did buy one well, just one or two things. So I just thought it would be fun to show you guys what I bought. So again, it's not much, but I just thought I'd go for it. So yesterday I bought Where's the camera? Little Sonic the Hedgehog earrings. Um, the other one, I'm wearing the other one. So, and it's quite comfy. It's quite small as well, actually, in my ear, which is good. But I, I really like them. So this still had a lot of other um, uh, earrings. So they even had, like, saw earrings and Demon Slayer ones. They had an Inosuke, which I was going to get. But they sold out quite quickly. <laughs> they sold out quite quickly. But speaking of Inosuke, da da da, I had to get him. He's my boy. <laughs> so this is just a key ring, but I he had to be bought. It had to be done. Uh, so the last two, 
now this was a really cool artist actually and i off the top of my head i'm too tired i can't remember who she is but i'll put the um what do you call it i'll put her twitter in the description below as well as down text wise what her name is and what her um socials are what social name is because i can't remember off the top of my head but a lot of her art is like this kind of thing so very sort of spacey um but she sort of does she draws sort of animals with antlers so there was a lot of like foxes with antlers and like reindeer and stuff but there was also this little jackalope and i thought it was really cute so this is a sticker that i bought and then the print which is really cool is this how cool is that it's gorgeous but they but she does a lot of art like this as well so i will put her socials in the description below as well so you guys can go off and check it out her out her art out i cannot speak <laughs> but yeah I have no idea where I'm gonna put this, but I'm sure I'll find somewhere in the background in the background for me to put up. Because <laughs> I have no idea where this is gonna go, but I had to get it. It was it's beautiful. I forgot to show you guys as well actually. I don't know if that's focusing. I hope it is. <laughs> Otherwise you're just getting a close up of my ear. <laughs> but yeah, so I've got the Sonic earring in now. It's it's really nice it looks really cool <laughs> but i thought i'd just do a little show display showcase of what i bought um my brain's starting to fall asleep so i am going to go i'm going to have a good long sleep but i thought it would be fun to just do a vlog of portsmouth comic con i will probably be doing one for london in october that's going to be mad <laughs> But I, I've been debating on, on doing that. And especially after the VidCon London vlog two years ago. I had fun sort of filming and ed editing that. So I thought, yeah, it'd be fun like filming this and putting this up for YouTube. And it's also something different compared to like the reaction videos and the gaming videos I do. Um, but I, yeah, I'd be interested to know if you would want an MCM London vlog. I mean, I'm saying this, but I'm probably going to end up doing it anyway. <laughs> but it's more just I want to see if you guys would be interested in doing that, in me doing that. So, yeah, let me know. But this was my vlog on Portsmouth Comic Con. Uh, thank you all for watching. I guess if you want me to react to any videos or play any particular games, please let me know. Uh, all my socials are down the bottom. The artist who drew the jackalope print and the sticker, I will put their uh, socials in the description below. So you can go and check their art out. But yeah, I'm going to go get some sleep now because my brain's falling asleep. But take care, guys, and I will see you all soon. Bye!